Hello everyone. Coming to you from the shop again where it is a balmy 29 degrees in the shop and it's about uh, about 17 degrees outside I think. Started my morning by uh, shoveling about three inches of snow off the driveway just to get everything going. And uh, I'd like to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and Happy Holiday. And New Year's is coming up so everybody have a safe New Year's. Anyway, the subject I wanted to cover today was uh, what got you into motorcycle riding? I know back when I was 10 years old or so, I was digging through the JC Penny catalog and I found me a mini bike that I was hoping my, that Santa Claus would bring uh, to me one Christmas. So uh, told Santa Claus, told my parents, told all those people that uh, I think this mini bike would be the right thing for me for Christmas. So anyway, Christmas morning came and there it was underneath the tree, a JC Penny Duster MX. I think it uh, came with a four horsepower motor, probably had a top speed of about 15 miles an hour. Uh, rode that thing around the backyard for a while. Me and my buddies had a good old time with that thing. We'd take it up to some of the desert lots out by our house and go out. We made some jumps, which, uh, you know, that thing wasn't uh, too good for uh, jumping. Didn't have much suspension. But uh, it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun for a 10-year-old kid and his buddies to go out there and run around on that uh, lawnmower engine-powered uh, mini bike. Well, that lasted a couple of years, and then uh, then I, I got the itch for a bigger motorcycle. So, you know, as as usual, I'd been uh, going to the local 7-Eleven uh, for quite a few years, and every month picking up a new uh, copy of Dirt Bike Magazine. I really, uh, really enjoyed looking through the pages, about wore those things out, dreaming about all those motorcycles that were in there. Uh, when... Uh, <clears throat> When I was a kid, we had our paper routes and stuff, and we'd be out delivering, me and my buddy would be out delivering papers on uh, Sunday morning, and we could always tell when there was a motocross race going on in our local motocross track. It was about a six mile bicycle ride out to the motocross track, but when we started seeing bikes head out there, we'd uh, get hurry up and get done with our paper route, go back and, uh, grab some backpacks with some water and some snacks, and we'd ride seven miles out into the desert to that motocross track so we could watch the motocross races on Sundays. And usually the people that would charge money at the gate would see that we rode our bicycles there, and uh, they'd let us in for free, and we'd watch the races uh, all day for free. And then a lot of times we knew a couple of the guys from school that, uh, that raced out there, so uh, we'd... Uh, be able to hitch a ride back into town in the back of somebody's pickup truck so we didn't have to ride our bikes all the way back. But that was a lot of fun and seeing those dirt bikes out there racing around those tracks in the 70s uh, was, a, was a heck of a lot of fun. So, you know, going back and thumbing through all those magazines, I found that Honda had a dual sport motorcycle on sale for I think $525 that year. It was a MT-125, little two-stroke uh 125 dual sport and uh so you know there again here we are bugging santa claus for uh a new motorcycle for christmas so me and my dad went down sometime in uh november i believe and talked to the honda dealer down there and and uh and we we uh i gave him some of my paper out money and and uh, dad, dad came up with the rest, and we brought home an MT-125. And uh, that thing sat in our garage until Christmas. It sat there for a month. I wasn't allowed to go out and ride it or do anything with it. And we lived in a warmer climate then, so, uh, you know, we could actually go out and, and ride a new motorcycle on Christmas Day. Where up here would be a little tough with the snow on the ground. But uh, so... I'd go out there and I'd drool and just have a good old time looking at that motorcycle, turning the key on and off, just playing with the turn signals and all that. And, uh, you know, I was only 12 years old, so there wasn't any way I was going to ride that thing on the street. But 
you know, for the price it couldn't be beat for a real motorcycle. So Christmas Day came along and Dad loaded that bike up the back of the truck and away we went. And that's uh, that was the first real motorcycle I ever got. So, and that's where it started. And uh, that was uh, about 42 years ago. So, it's amazing. Once this stuff gets in your blood, it's hard to get rid of. I've had a motorcycle in my garage, or two, or three, ever since then. So, just curious, uh, what was uh, your first motorcycle, and when did you get it? Were you, were you lucky enough to get one as a kid? Or did you have to wait till you were an adult to... Uh, to get one. I know my first street bike, I I was 18 years old. My mom wouldn't let me buy a street bike. So, but uh, not too long after I turned 18 years old, there was a street bike in the garage. So anyway, I'm just curious uh, what your guys' first bikes were, whether they're dirt bikes or street bikes later in life, or, uh, you know, what was, what was your gateway drug into the, uh, into uh, the motorcycle, habit i guess it's is the best way to say it so anyway if you would just uh, throw that in the comments and if you like the video or uh want to see some more of my videos please hit that subscribe button and uh and again you guys have have a merry christmas and a happy new year and uh you know for us up here in the northern climates you know, we got to wait till spring comes back around before we can dig our bikes out of the garage. And you guys in the southern climates, enjoy the cool weather because summer's coming and it'll be too hot to ride down there. So anyway, guys, take care and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.